Hello guys, I'm Batdan16 PS3, and welcome back to episode number 13 of my Gran Turismo 6 Let's Play series. In the last episode, I went karting for about 10 minutes and managed to win all three races. Sorry that was so short, not much I can do about it. Um, but for this episode, I'm actually redoing the FF challenge. I've already done this challenge before, obviously. But, unfortunately, the footage that I collected was corrupted to all hell, and is completely unusable. So rather than just move on straight to the FR challenge and miss this one out, as I've already done it, I'm just going to go back and redo it. And also, sorry if you can hear a noise in the background, that is my washing machine. Um, at the time of this recording, I'm going on holiday tomorrow. Uh, it's currently the 21st of June and I go on holiday on the 22nd so we're just doing some last minute washing that we need to, do to uh, get out of the way so in this video I'm obviously redoing this event so let's head back to Tsukuba in my Renault Megane RS Trophy 11 which I won by completing the Gran Turismo 5 final seasonal event before the online was shut off. So let's enter this. Around Tsukuba. And we are up against a Mitsubishi Eclipse, a Honda Integra, a Honda Civic, a Seat Ibiza, and a Sunfire concept. I'm not sure what make car that is. And it is 23 degrees on an afternoon at half past three. So let's get cracking. Change my view. Go. Try to catch up to this American in what I can only assume is an American car. This is one that I don't know the make of. Tricky braking zone, you just go around a slight bend. This is the only problem with FF cars, just be very gentle on the throttle to either you'll understeer off into a wall, as will probably happen to me several times during this video. You also get the uh, nice sound of the tyres absolutely screaming in agony as they struggle for grip and power. Well, they struggle for grip and handle the power. Catch up after a Spaniard in the Seat. No point making a move there with another stick. We'll try and parade it around his outside. Yep, he's just slowed down. That's an easy overtake in the end. Three lap race, so if I don't get him here, it's no trouble. Dive up his inside. He's still hanging around the outside. I think he eventually gave up. Yeah, he's given up. Given up and how. Second half of this Honda Love Fest. What after the other Japanese car on this grid? Pace on him. Drag racing to the corner in the braking zone. Yay. Front wheel drive car, under steering. Held onto it and he's dropped back like a real AI driver. I just gotta make sure I don't cock it up on this lap. Golden. Yeah, sorry about having to redo this, guys. Um, 
the previous footage that I had started out alright, apart from the audio was a little bit out of sync with the actual video. But I could have dealt with that by just dropping the audio altogether. Um, but then these weird video glitches started kicking in all over the place. They stopped for one race and then came back for the third one and just by that point there would have been no point showing you the video. It wouldn't have made for terrific viewing. And I'm actually doing a lot better in this this time round than the previous time. Which is always sods law, well, isn't it? They're still going. Seven seconds and I only overtook him a lap ago. Ay. So we get extra 10,000 credits for something we've already done. Still, it's not a bad way to uh, boost the bank balance, I suppose. Exit. Go around the Deep Forest Raceway. Again, sorry if you can hear my washing machine in the background. Not a lot I can do about it. Right, we're up against. I don't know the top two car makes. Uh, we've got Honda Civic Type R01. We've got two Honda Civic Type R01s and a VW Golf in there too. And 11 o'clock in the morning. So obviously when this video is being uploaded onto YouTube and being released, I would have just got back from holiday two days ago. So I will be extremely tired, probably, and also probably again doing the washing. That's always how it goes, the first couple of days back, before we go back to work, we're always filled with all the boring stuff. Try and... No, can't quite get the civet. Whoopsie daisy, you can see the breaking point on the right up the backside. And understeery right into a wall. That's why I hate front wheel drive cars on this game. Too realistic, damn it. Whoopsie daisy. Got the summer up again. Right, that'll do. Go for that. The vision's running through my head, then I'll spend an entire lap behind the fifth place car. I don't have to do all overtaking in one lap. Actually kinda scared me for a second then. Got that golf out of the way fairly quickly. Yeah. And just I managed to avoid hitting him. Right alongside me is just Going away, good. Looks like there's a Volvo. Oh, breaking point. Too busy looking behind me. This one is an Alpha. Yes. Oh, and you just managed to miss it and then up the backside then. That was more than I would have liked. Let's get him on the undercut. There we go. Um, okay. Oh, the sound of tortured tyres. Doesn't sound nice. Just looked at them. 
little display thing I've got on the bottom left, I just saw my out front right tyre was going a bit yellow and orange, heating up. Two seconds in front. Push for the line. Look at that gap back to him. It's huge. You're what, five, four seconds? Five seconds? Just under four. Skip the replay. Above the 300,000 credit mark. Obviously we don't get the stars because we've already got them. Right, let's move swiftly on to this last race, which is round the twin wing twin ring Motegi or Motegi East Course. Another Alpha, two Alphas, C30, Civic Type R. There's always a Civic Type R and a Golf GTI in these. They seem to be the weapons of choice for the front wheel drive front engine category. But still, they'll probably finish fifth and sixth anyway. Let's get off this Germany B dub. Not crashing into him in the breaking point. Breaked a little bit later. Oopsie did. Let's got the change gear. Quite a big one. Nice and patient for getting in. There we go. Can I get the Civic on the same straight? Not quite. Just about got around that corner. Just a downshift without breaking in a second. Screw it up. Thank God this is a fake car, otherwise I'd have probably just fried the gearbox and the engine doing that. Him. Just about got away with it. Definitely made it stick that time. Look how far he's dropped off. There we go. Again, didn't break enough for downshifting. Go off with this Volvo. Whoops. Why is it that when you accidentally bump an AI, AI car up the bump, they decide to slam on the brakes and pretty much stop, so you have no choice but to keep hitting them, because you can't quite get around them. One of the main problems with these games. Yeah, I know people don't like getting hit, but you don't just slam the brakes on once you get tagged. Side through here. Nicely done. Time to catch the other German. Sorry for that terrible accent. Just under two seconds down on him. Corner. 
exciting things are on the horizon for my channel, um, provided all things go well with my future self. Uh, as soon as I get back from holiday, which I would have already by now, um, first thing I will probably be doing is going into game and picking up a copy of Grid Autosport. And I shall probably be doing a video on it as we speak, or as I speak and you listen. Uh, if not, it will be done within the next few days, and that will hopefully be released on Wednesday. I think it's the 9th of July. So that video will then be coming out, and I shall start a series on that uh, every Wednesday, and keeping the Gran Turismo's on Saturdays. Which should be exciting, it's something different. Never run two series at one time before, so only good things can come of it, I hope. Anyway, that's me re-completing the FF challenge so that you can actually see it. Uh, next week, I shall be going on to the FR challenge, just moving the uh, drive shaft to the rear wheels so that they can be powered instead of the front ones. Um, and I shall see you next Saturday for that. Uh, there was something I was going to say, but I've completely forgotten it. No, it's gone. Uh, <laughs> thanks for watching, everyone, and I shall see you next week. Hi guys, this is Batdan16PS3, and this is just a short little update for the end of the video. Um, I'm currently two days removed from my holiday and unfortunately while I was out there I received some unfortunate and unexpected family news. Uh, obviously where this episode and commentary were pre-recorded prior to the holiday I didn't know that any of this would come about. Um, so unfortunately I will have to stop making YouTube videos for the foreseeable future which obviously means that the Grid 3 or Grid Autosport series that I'd planned for, to start on Wednesdays will not be happening and unfortunately there will be no more new Gran Turismo 6 episodes on Saturdays. Um, I would like to take this moment to thank you very much for your support so far in this series and I know that some of you were looking forward to Grid 3 and I'm sorry that I can't commit to that. Um, it would be very much appreciative if I could have your continued support th for my series throughout this time and as soon as I have any updates for you concerning my future videos I will have those updated as soon as I have news and thank you very much for watching my series again and just remember to always take care of yourselves thanks